Saturday, some of the best chefs from Bramford will be going head to head at the second annual Chili Challenge for a Cause. It's a fun event where you can stroll Main Street, taste, and vote for your favorite chili or your favorite charity. Here to give us a preview are Susan Finkel from the Shoreline Chamber of Commerce and Sean Joyce, who is going to be cooking up some chili this year. Welcome, both of you, to the show. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Teresa. Uh, before we get cooking, it's starting to smell delightful, Sean. Uh, Susan, tell me a little bit about the chamber. I know it has a kind of a Right, new... yes, we are a, a new chamber mm -hmm. as of January 1st. We are the Shoreline Chamber of Commerce, which is um, the Guilford Chamber mm -hmm. and the Bramford Chamber have merged. Got it. All right, and uh, this event seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's $10 to uh, kind of get uh, your choice of 16 different uh, chilies. Right, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't a know. A lot of chilies. I don't know if you're going to make it through, right? Right. Uh, but explain to me the setup a little bit. Well, um, people who would like to attend the event, check in on the Branford Green at noontime on Saturday. Um, you're going to be, you'll get a, a tote bag and a bottled water and some Mardi Gras beads. And, and then you're, you're off. And you're <laughs> off. We give you a map and you stroll right down Main Street. We can see that map right there. So it's not a whole lot of walking, but it gives you no. an opportunity to kind of see maybe different stores you haven't been to before, right? Absolutely. All right. Aaron, have, uh, I'm sorry, Sean, have you done this uh, before, this event? This is my first time participating, but yeah. SBC did participate last year. How'd you guys do? Were you in the running? We were in the running. We <laughs> hope to take the trophy this year. Uh, we All think right. we have a great recipe prepared. So. And this is your Imperial Chili. The Imperial Chili. It's named after the Imperial Red that we'll be using. It's the mm -hmm. Augie, brewed fresh in our Branford Brewery. Uh, come some of the combination of ingredients that we have. We're doing four different types of meat. Okay. One of them is secret today, so we're going to keep some of our tricks up our sleeves. Fair sleep. enough. We'll let you show. Um, but we start with our four, three different types of meat here. We have our onions, our combination of poblano and jalapeno peppers, chipotle pepper, and we have our red peppers as well. All right. So once we start to get everything together. Yeah, we're just going to put this all in the... Absolutely. You, you want to brown your meat. Okay. You want to get to the process of going through and starting to brown your onions as well. And which charity are you guys representing we're, this year? We're competing for the Connecticut Beer Trail Ales of Honor. Okay. Uh, it's a great organization. Everything stays in Connecticut. It actually helps support all of the soldiers of the Connecticut National Guard and the Connecticut Army uh, Reserve. Sure. Uh, it's a completely voluntary basis uh, for people who participate. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no administrative cost, which is pretty fantastic great. as well. So you're just going to put all the meat in? Absolutely. Yep, we take it? everything, okay. and then what we do is we take all of our product, okay. put everything in with our tomato sauce right inside of our pot. It's going to take about two hours to get all of the flavors to combine. You always want to make sure you make it a day ahead as well. Oh, really? So that the flavor way, set, Absolutely. Right? Yep, you can't let it go too long. But you're going to add your... Uh, add our chipotle peppers. Okay. Yep, we mix everything all together. Always got to make sure there's a little garlic as well. <laughs> Great, so that cooks. You don't use a crock pot or Absolutely. anything, you just keep it on nope, the stove? No, you can just keep it on the stove top and then you end up with this. Oh, um, it looks beautiful. Absolutely. It's a pretty fantastic combination of flavors. Delicious. It does. Wow. Yep. Susan, what's up for grabs this year? Well, the grabs, we, um, the, as people taste the chili, they will vote for their favorite. Mm -hmm. And um, at the end of the event, we'll uh, count all the votes. The winning chef goes home with the trophy. Look at this thing. This is pretty cool. Yeah. That's quite and a trophy to put on the mantle. It's quite the trophy. And they will be um, named 2014 um, Best Chili in Bramford. And you get some bragging rights. Right? Absolutely. Oh, and then the, the, winning, the winning chef, um, we will make a donation to his charity of choice. And uh, 16 different charities. We have the list right here. But yes. um, Dan Cosgrove Animal Shelter, they've been on the show before. A lot of great things they're yes. doing for animals in uh, Brantford. Special Olympics, Liver Foundation. If you have a cause, you probably could find it here. Absolutely. So even if you didn't love the chili, you could definitely support uh, the charity. So this sounds like a lot of fun. Again, just give us the rundown, how we sign up and how we can take part. Right. You can sign up online, BrantfordCT.com. There's a registration link. Or show up the day of the event. Um, we'll have a tent set up on the Branford Green, mm -hmm. and you just check in. Sounds like a fun day, right? It's only ten dollars. Can't go wrong. Goes to a, a great cause. And Sean, thanks so much for being here. No problem. We're, we're happy gonna, to do whatever we can. We're gonna taste this at the end of the show. I see some cornbread here. It smells delicious. And just to reiterate here, the second annual Chili Challenge for a Cause is happening Saturday from noon to three in Branford. All you have to do is go to BranfordCT.com for more information. Uh, and again, this all smells delightful. <laughs>